This is a quick tutorial to introduce to you to a new feature that Microsoft has added to the PowerPoint 2013 called Mix. So if you go to mix.office.com, you will be able to download this add-on feature and you will need, when you go to this Get Office Mix, uh, you will need a Hotmail or a Microsoft account or you can sign in with some other of the options which are available here. Um, with 2013, you have to create an account when you register your software with Microsoft. So you most probably have one. So you can log in and download it. And once you download it, you'll get this Mix tab up here on the top added to it. Now, what does Mix allow you to do? There's some interesting features here which is really handy. Uh, what it can do is it can allow you to add quizzes to your slideshow. So wherever I need it, I could add like quizzes where I can test people and make sure they understood the ideas before they move on. Uh, you can take a screen recording, whatever is, and then put it, whatever is on your computer screen, that's what's called screen recording. And then you can just put it in your slideshow. You can take a screenshot, like that's just like a picture, uh, just a clipping, and then you can add it to your slideshow. Um, you can also, once you've done all of this, you can also export it as a video file and then you can give it to somebody. And the other idea is you can upload it to Mix, which is on, on online so that you can share it with people and you also get a lot of other information out of it as to who's watching it and, and the quizzes and things. And also there is a feature which is called slide recording where I can click it, which I'm going to show it to in a few minutes, and then I will be able to like put my voice on the slide. I can even add my ca the webcam. I can use the webcam and the voice together so people will see in the corner somewhere here, they will see a box with my face on it and I can talk about whatever it is that I need to add to this slide. So I've just uh, got this sample uh, slide uh, PowerPoint from Microsoft and I'm just going to try to do a few things to give you an idea of what it is and also show you the upload part which is this is a very neat feature what they've started so I'll just click here on the slide and I'll go to home and I'll say add a new blank slide for example and from the mix tab I'll say let's go to the quizzes videos app so I'll click it and it's going to go online and find me what is available from Microsoft's website. So you'll need internet connection for this. And I've already added some to my apps like quizzes. But if you go to the store option, you will be able to add some of this quizzes. And also there are some other things uh, like for educational purposes, some other videos options and some content from Khan Academy, I think, which is also available. So I'll just go to my my apps and so say I wanted to add uh, multiple choice quiz. So I'll click it, insert, and now I just type the question and I can also give people hints about it and I can, so I'll just go ahead and type here and I say what is 2 plus 2? And if I wanted I can add a hint and I can choose whether this is a single choice answer because I can allow people to choose multiple so if the question was related to something where people need to choose more than one answer I can choose that or I can just leave it as one and I can type the answer so I'll just click here and I'll put five four and I'll add another one and then in here I'll type three and then I can say that this one is the right one and just to preview, I can press the preview button and this is the way it will look. And there's the hint option here. So, so that's the way you can add quizzes to it. I'll just hit the save button. I just saved it to my computer. And say I'll come to this slide and say on this one, I wanted to add uh, some information. I wanted to add some audio to it. I also wanted to circle a few things, highlight a few things. So to do that, I can click on it and I can go to the slide recording option. And usually as you point, you always get the information there. So I'll click it. And now it's going to prepare this option where I'll be able to record things. And there's also an option if you look on the right hand side up here on the bottom that you can choose the coloring that you want to use, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, and you also get to choose whether you want to use the headset microphone and I can add my camera and it will show up in the side here and this video recording will become part of the slide so I'm just going to stick with the headset microphone for now and I'm going to click on the record button 
And so now it is recording my voice and I can start highlighting whatever sections I wanted to highlight. And then I can pause it or I can just stop it. And then if I want it, I can go to the next slide and, and keep on adding more things like that. And this information is being added. And if I want it, I can preview the slide recording. And so now it is recording my voice and I can start highlighting. And I'll stop it. So you can, I think I'm pretty sure the voice came through to the speaker, to the microphone. So, so it's a nice little feature and I can close this. So that part has been added to this slide. So that was the slide recording option and, and you can add a recording of your screen with your voice on it and also just a screenshot. So you click it and whatever screen shot you wanted from the screen, you cut it out and it will put it up here. And now you can, I can upload it. So let's just do that part. So I can show you how it will look when you see it. So I click on upload and now it's saying there are three steps to it. So I'll just say next. And it's now preparing the video so that it can be seen on different devices, on mobile and tablets and desktop. And, and it will sign in here. I'll have to sign into my, um, my account. And it should upload it. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. So I've signed in and it's asking me uh, whether I'm uploading a new mix or updating an existing one. I'll say this is a new mix. And enable playback on mobile devices so that if I wanted to make sure that people looking at different devices, with different screen sizes, people will be able to do it. Um, and, and I'll click next. And now we're starting to up export and it's gonna do the conversion. So I'm just gonna pause while this happens. So it took a few minutes, it's not, it's only six slides with a little bit of audio. So it didn't take too much time. So I'll go to, I can say, show me my mix, I'll click it. And I'll most probably log into my account, which is there. And so here's the title, description, and what topic is being covered with tags. And do you want to allow discussions? So a lot of interesting idea. And I haven't looked into this, let us modify. So if you want it to allow people to modify your PowerPoint, you can t allow them to do that too. Or I can I suppose change the permissions here. I can make it private. The next option is limited, unlisted. So anyone with the link can view it and the other one is public so that this will be publicly available. They have this gallery up here on the top where you can see other people's works uh, which are allowed out there and you can even uh, set it free and not have a much of a copyright on it kind of a thing. I think that's what Creative Commons does. So I'll just keep it as anybody with the link unlisted. Just anybody with the link will be able to see it and you can then email people or share it and there's also an option to embed it uh, on certain websites. So here's the link for it. So I'll just copy it. And before I do that, let me save it. And just want to make sure the right link, share it. All right, so I'll just sign out now so that I want to see whether it works properly. And I'll go ahead and paste that link here and there is loading. It's 17 seconds, it's created a video automatically, not hexy. So in this case, I do have to hit next because, I I and there is my, there is my recording that I did. And there's the answer. And I hit submit, that's the quiz. And it says correct, and I hit continue, and now it moves on.
So very interesting. If I had set uh, the um, the timings, uh, the rehearsed timings on my PowerPoint, then I wouldn't need to go through the clicks. It would have set it up automatically for me. But in this case, people can go at their own screen on at their own speed. And now this part was really good because I could actually choose the answer and then I'm able to go forward rather than going forward just like that. So I hope uh, you found this um, information interesting and you never know it might come in handy to do something and where you wanted to share the link with everybody and uh, let people see your work. Thanks for watching.